Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Now, in this video, what I would like to go over with you guys is some of the most useful items that aren't weapons. Now, I'm specifically talking about accessories or things like that, but nothing like guns in this in this series. So, I want to talk about what I believe to be some of the most useful items in the game right now that you guys need to have in order to make your online experience the best that it possibly can be. Now, hopefully I have a little bit of uh, good information for you guys just because I am, you know, a rank 107, almost a 108 now, and I don't play as much as I used to. I used to play for literally hours on end. I come on, you know, check out the daily challenges, things like that, and I've learned a lot over time, and there's a lot of things that I wish I would have done differently. So these are some of the things that I really hope that you guys can learn from. And if you guys already know them, then sorry about it. sorry about that. But if there is something that's a little bit different that you guys would like to recommend to other players, then go ahead and leave a comment down below because I'm sure the community would very much appreciate it. So pretty much what we're going to be doing is looking at the catalog. Now... I said that we're going to completely skip weapons. There is one thing that is weapon related, but it's actually not weapon itself. Now, and I'm going to talk about that first. Now, it's going to actually be in weapon accessories, and that's actually going to be able to hold and dual wield handheld guns. Now, this includes sawed off shotguns, which that is currently what I'm using, but these items right here on this page and going forward will allow you to dual wield any two weapons. It could be the high roller revolver and the cattleman, or it could be you know a Mauser, uh, a Mauser pistol or two of the shot off shotguns. And I definitely recommend that you guys get one of these. It doesn't really matter which one you get. You can get one of the cheapest ones. I believe it's 775. This one right here. Um, and the 850 seems to be there's, or there's a couple and there's a couple that are just one gold bar. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one you guys pick. You can pick one and you can start dual wielding right away. Now, obviously, if you are a PvP player, this is going to be very essential in showdowns and other types of large um, gatherings or just any type of those events, anytime that any type of PvP very essential. I use my sawed off shotguns a lot in, um, in PVP. So in able to have that dual wield, you need to have the gun belt additions. So that would be under weapon accessories. Now, the next thing that I kind of want to talk about is, uh, tonics. I absolutely despise tonics. I think they're an absolute waste of money, uh, for them but they kind of are essential. Now, I don't personally use them. I actually cook meat. Um, I actually focus on big game meat so that I can get my my cores up. It's you know kind of like the potent tonic here. We can use uh, to get Deadeye up, or you can use time. If you wanna get up your stamina, you can go ahead and get um, oregano. And if you want your health, then you can go ahead and get mint. So those are definitely very uh, beneficial. So, but you can use the tonics the same style, but hunting is free and you can actually get a little bit of money from it. So that's kind of why I'm recommending that you guys, um, instead of going tonic wise, you go the meat wise. Now, if we actually look at our satchel, we got yoking clave here with us. That's awesome. Uh, if we look at our big game meat, I only have these two currently right now. And we have the time which is going to help us obviously with our dead eye. And then I do have oregano. Now I do use this a lot when I am these two specifically when I am PVPing. So I just want to let you guys know about that. Uh, this is what I use that for instead of actually using tonics. It's free. You can find it anywhere in the world. Now you can get tonics free. I would never pay for them even with the 25% off, you know, that they currently are during this, uh, this week. So Anyway, now moving on to the next item, if we go ahead and actually pull up our catalog here real quick, um, is hunting and fishing. Now, obviously, one of the 
biggest things that you guys have to own in Red Dead Online is Mr. Johnson's fishing rod. Now this thing is very essential. A lot of the things that I do to make money revolves around fishing. So having the fishing rod is going to be absolutely essential in order to do a lot of the methods that I like, including probably one of the best money-making methods out there. So I've had lots of videos that I've recently done about fishing. It's because it's effective and makes good money and it's pretty easy to do. Now, along with fishing, obviously, is the two special lures. Now, I can't remember specifically what rank these are locked, uh, unlocked at that you can actually purchase them for $20 a piece. But the reason I'm talking about the special ones versus this, like the regular lake, lake lure or the river lure is because these ones never break. You might lose your fish, but they will never break. So spending the $20 versus the $2.50, I believe this one was one gold versus three or four gold, depending on what rank you are. Uh, this is definitely the more beneficial way of going. And I recommend getting the special lake lures or the special river lure or even the um, swamp lure as well. I don't really fish in the swamp ever. I don't feel like it's the best money-making opportunities, but if that's something that you guys want to get, it's still $20 and you can definitely get that here. Now, moving on to the next one, very essential. It doesn't matter if you're a PVP player or if you're a hunter like myself. Now I do play PVP from time to time. Um, it's great for a lot of different things, getting a lot of groups of uh, people together. And obviously last week, not this, not this week, but last week we had the 1.5 for gold and money for Red Dead Online. So having gun oil and m maintaining your guns. Now during showdown or one of those series, you don't actually have to use the, the oil at all. But if you're doing it in free roam, then you're going to have to oil your gun. Now, there's a few different places that you guys can actually get that completely for free. If you want to spend $1.50 per item, you can definitely do that. But I'm going to show you guys a couple spots. There's actually one right here down really close to where I'm at in New Austin. There's uh, one at the sheriff's station here in Arm Armandillo. Uh, there's actually this the Welcome Center in Strawberry has a couple, I believe there's two there for sure. And then another good location is um, down in Rhodes, here we go. Uh, we got this little house right here, just north of Southfield Flats. And then there's this house over here at Maddock Pond. Now you can pretty much reload the spots and get your 10 items and then just mosey on and continue doing what you're on. And those two are really close to each other. Now the other two really close ones together are down at uh, this location right here. Um, I can't remember exactly what that's called, but this location right here. And then there's one at Brithright Manor, which is at this location right here. Now there's obviously other ones around the entire map, but those are some of the better locations and they're kind of based on locations to other ones in the area. So that's kind of what I recommend that you guys go to do. And apparently my horse is really hungry. Um, yep. I don't even know. He's, he's, I need to feed him more often. He's starving to death. So anyway, if we go up and pull up our catalog, just a real quick, like, uh, the last thing that I really want to cover is actually horses and the saddles. Now I waited to buy my first horse, which is the Missouri Fox Trotter, which I am currently riding. It's the silver dapple Pinto, um, color, I guess you could call it. Uh, the, the breed is the Missouri Fox Trotter. I had to wait until I was a level 58 to get this horse. However, you can get the saddles at a different time. Now, unfortunately in here, you guys can't see the special, the special saddles. There is the, um, I can't remember which one it was at the rattlesnake. No, I don't think it was the rattlesnake one. I'm not anywhere close to a stable right now, but None of the special saddles are discounted. However, at least during this week, because I did check that actually earlier. But if you guys want to get a decent saddle and it really doesn't matter on your rank, there is a special saddle that you can get pretty early on that will help your horse with all of its different cores and speeds. Now, the one thing that I really do like, obviously, about uh, this horse is without the, without the saddle, this thing can go actually pretty deep 
pretty good distances. But now you can see that the cores, because I've been standing still, are pretty low. But this thing actually is able to, um, it's not going to run super fast right now because its stamina is really, really low. But you can actually, you know, push down on the left stick and you're going to get uh, a decent amount of your stamina back. And with the saddle that I'm using, which is the most expensive one, which unlocks at like level 96, I never have to stop. And I can, I've gone completely from one side of the map all the way to the other. Now, yes, I do lose a little bit, a little bit of uh, normal stamina with it, but... It is kind of what it is, and I just want to let you guys know, but getting a better horse and saddle is very essential in Red Dead Online, especially if you are a hunter and or a free roam player at all. But getting from one side of the map to the other, especially if you don't fast travel, very essential, and I believe that it is one of the better items that you guys must have here in Red Dead Online. So that kind of uh, that's kind of like my... My go-to items, um, I mean, like the fishing rod and the special lures, I bought as quickly as I possibly could because I was doing a lot of fishing at the very beginning. Um, obviously, there are some guns that I will cover in another episode that are very essential that you need at the very beginning of the game as well, kind of getting started. But if you guys don't have some of those items, or maybe if there's something that you guys would like me to discuss in further, please let me know in the comment section if you guys have a tip for other players in the community definitely leave a comment down below but that is all the time that i have for in today's video if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming <laughs>